Hello, welcome to Tutoring Success, my level 7 pioneers. In this video, I'm going to teach you everything you need to know about gradients, right? So, firstly, we are going to be looking at what is a gradient. A gradient is simply um, a calculation of how steep your graph is going to be or where, where your graph is going to be facing to, right? So in this case, when you are having a, a straight line that is uh, pointing to your right, that means your gradient is greater than zero, right? Meaning that it is positive. And when you are having a gradient like this, that simply means your, your gradient is going to be negative since your straight line graph is pointing to your left hand side, right? So this is all that you need to know about gradients so how do you go about calculating gradients right so we are going to be going over these questions these four questions right so our question it says like it says that determine the gradient right so we are given two uh, coordinates meaning that we are simply going to to do our gradient, you are going to say the gradient of QR is going to be equal to um, change in Y over change in X, actually. So our change in Y is going to be the Y, um, the Y coordinate at Q minus by the Y coordinate at R, right? So if you started with Q, so you must make sure that uh, on your denominator, you must also start with the X coordinate of Q. So that's the only only hint that I can give you on calculating gradients. Just make sure that if you started with the y coordinate of q at the top, you start with the x coordinate of q at the bottom. So our y coordinate at q is negative 3 minus for the formula and our y coordinate at r is 13. Uh, all over our x coordinate at q is going to be 8 and our x uh, coordinate at r is going to be 5 over 7 right so after substituting guys you can simply punch your calculator so in this case we got 112 divided by 51 and if you want the decimals it's going to be negative 2,20, right? So this simply tells us that our gradient is going to be pointing to our left-hand side, right? It's going to be pointing to our left-hand side. Why? Because our gradient is negative, meaning that it's less than zero. And then our second question, they are saying we must determine the gradient again of QR. So you must make sure that if you started with R, you must, uh, if you started with your uh, with your Y coordinate at R, you must make sure that you start with your with your X coordinate at R as well, right? So you are going to be having this formula, right? And then after this, you are going to simply uh, substitute. And then our Y coordinate at R is going to be negative four. And then this is the negative for the formula and our our y coordinate at q is going to be negative one and then you are going to be looking at your x coordinate at r which is going to be one and your x coordinate at q this is the negative from the formula and our coordinate at our x coordinate actually at q is negative three right so after this step guys you are simply going to punch your calculator no need to to uh, to act smarter than you are right so our answer is going to be negative three over four and on a decimal format is going to be negative uh, 0 0.75 this simply means that our gradient or our line is going to be pointing to our left hand side so uh, at um, at 1.3 we are also being asked to calculate a gradient again so the gradient of ab is simply going to be the y coordinate at a minus by the y coordinate at b 
divided by the x coordinate at a minus by the x coordinate at b and then on your next step you are simply going to substitute our y coordinate at a is negative 4 and our y coordinate at b is negative 1 divided by our x coordinate at a is negative 2 and our x coordinate at b is negative 6 and then you are simply going to punch your calculator then you are going to be getting negative 3 over 4 which also means that our graph is pointing at our left hand side because our gradient is negative lastly but not least we are having the gradient of mn so you are going to say the the y coordinate at n minus by the y coordinate at m divided by the x coordinate at n minus by the x coordinate at m so our y coordinate at n is 7 and our y coordinate at at m is going to be negative 1 divided by the the x coordinate at n which is negative 12 and the x coordinate at m which is 5 and then you are going to punch your calculator you are going to be getting 8 divided by 7 if this video is valuable to you so far please don't forget to put that like button and if you are having any question post it on our comment section below so let's go to our next subtopic on on uh, gradients we are we are going to be solving problems so that we can see if our gradient or, or our two lines are perpendicular or parallel to each other. As on our next question, we are going to be talking about parallel and perpendicular lines. So if you can recall from our last video, I'm going to link it on our screen right now. We had a long talk about our our perpendicular and our parallel lines right so if you are being told uh, that these lines are parallel that simply means they are gradient let's say the gradient of q multiplied by the gradient of b you must be having a negative one as your answer and when they are saying your lines are parallel what do they simply mean let's say okay this is q and this is b so let's say this is line line f and the line g right so if the gradient of f is equals to the gradient of g that simply means these lines are what are parallel so on our question they are they are asking us to to state if either these lines are parallel perpendicular or neither right so the question says determine whether AB is parallel, perpendicular, or neither to CD, right? So we're simply going to be calculating our gradients, right? So the gradient of AB is equal to the y coordinate at A minus by the y coordinate at B, and x, uh, the x coordinate at A minus by the x coordinate at B. And then you are going to substitute our y coordinate at a is 5 and the negative is for the formula and our y coordinate at b is negative 8 right and then we are going to be having our x coordinate at a is negative 1 and this negative is for the formula and our x coordinate at b is equal to 7 after these guys you are going to simply punch your calculator right so when you punch your calculator you should be getting 3 over 8 right and then we go to our gradient of ct our gradient of ct it's simply the y coordinate at c minus by the y coordinate at d all over the x coordinate at c and the x coordinate at d and our x coordinate at c uh, i mean our y coordinate at c uh, <laughs> rather is negative 2 and this negative is for the formula and then our y coordinate at d is equal to 3 or it's 3 and our x coordinate at c is 5 and our x coordinate at d is 16 and then after that you are simply going to punch your calculator guys you should be getting 5 5 over 11 right so let's look at these two these two gradients right so are they equal no they are not equal right so we can conclude that 
that uh, A and B are not are not uh, or, or we can say AP line AP is not is not parallel to line line CD right so let's look at a uh, perpendicular are they perpendicular let's say we multiply this gradient with this gradient are we going to be getting negative one obviously not we are not going to be getting negative one because at least one of these gradients must be what must be must be negative and we are given that these two gradients are what are a positive both of them meaning that ap line ap is also uh, is also not a uh, perpendicular to line ct right and then lastly our last option is neither so our answer is going to be neither right so this is how you determine if two lines are parallel perpendicular or neither right so we we go to our next question which is 2.2 .2. So the same question applies, guys. So the question is also the same. They want us to identify if, if AB is parallel or perpendicular to line CD, right? So we, 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 we are just going to do our gradient. So it, let me change my color. So always, guys, when you are asked, not sometimes, but always, when you are asked about if these two lines are parallel or what, you must think of our gradient. So the gradient of AP is equal to the Y coordinate at B minus by the Y coordinate at A. And you must take note, guys, if you started with the Y coordinate at B, you must start with the X coordinate at B on your denominator, right? So okay this is our formula and then we are going to substitute so our y coordinate at b is one and this negative is for the formula and our y coordinate uh, i made a mistake here guys it's not one it's actually four right and this negative is for the formula and our y coordinate at a is one and our x coordinate at b is eight and this negative is for the formula and our um, x coordinate at a is equals to nine right so four minus four minus one is simply three and eight minus nine is going to be negative one isn't it and then our final answer is going to be negative three right and then we are going to say our gradient at at cd what is our gradient yo so we are going to say our y coordinate at d minus by our y coordinate at c and then our x coordinate at d minus by our x coordinate at c. What is our y coordinate at d is 5, right? And our y coordinate at c is 3. What is our what is our um, x coordinate at d? It's 2. And our x coordinate at c is negative 4, right? So you put it in, in your brackets. So... Here we are going to be having um, 5 minus, minus 3 is going to be 2. Here we are going to be having a positive. So you are going to say 2 plus 4 is going to be 6. And your final answer is going to be 1 over 3, right? So these two gradients, that, let's talk about these two gradients, guys. So are they equal? No, they are not equal. Meaning that line AB is not equal i mean like it's not parallel right line ap is not parallel to to line to line dc or cd it's up to you guys so when we multiply these two gradients do we get negative one so since we are having one gradient that is negative and and the other one is positive so we can try to multiply them and if we get negative one that means our um, our lines are perpendicular to each other right so the gradient of of ap multiplied by the gradient of of ct so our ap we are going to substitute our ap is negative three 
multiply by our gradient at CT is 1 over 3. And if you punch this on your calculator, you are going, you are going to be getting negative 1. So you can conclude that, therefore, AB is perpendicular to CT. Hopefully, I'm understandable, guys. If you are having any question, please don't hesitate to post it on our comment section below, right? So let's do this last question. Uh, yeah, let me try to drag it up and then, okay. Same question. Are these lines parallel, perpendicular, or neither, right? So we are going to do the gradient of AP. So our Y coordinate at A minus by our Y coordinate at B divided by our X coordinate at A minus by our X coordinate at B, right? And then we are going to substitute. So our, our Y coordinate at A is 6. Our Y coordinate at B is going to be negative 7, right? So our X coordinate at A is going to be negative 9. And this negative is for the formula. And our X coordinate at, at B is going to be negative 5, right? And then after this, you are going to cut, you are going to find your calculator, guys. And when you punch your calculator, you are going to be getting negative 13 over 4, right? Uh, if I made an error, guys, you can correct me on our, <laughs> on our comment section below, right? And our gradient at uh, offline CT, we are going to say the Y coordinate at C minus by the Y coordinate at D divided by the X coordinate at C minus by the X coordinate at D. So what is our Y coordinate at C? It's negative 3, right? And our Y coordinate at D is going to be 7. This negative is for our formula, right? And then our X coordinate at C is 9. Then this negative is for our formula. And then our, our X coordinate at D is going to be 4. And then when you punch this on your calculator, you should be getting negative 5 over 2. So let's talk about these gradients, guys. So number one, are they equal? No, they are obviously not equal to each other. So we can conclude that AP is not um, is not parallel to to CT, right? Another one, can we multiply these two and get negative one? So let's look at the sign. We are having a negative here and we are also having a negative here. So what does that tell tells us? It simply tells us that even if we can multiply them the whole day, we are still going to be getting a positive answer and we should be getting negative one, right? So you can conclude that line AP is not... It's not perpendicular to CT, right? And then our last option, which is neither, guys. That's our that's our answer, actually. Neither. So if this video was valuable to you, please don't forget to hit that like button and don't forget to share and uh, and 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 consider subscribing, guys. So on our next video, we are going to be talking about midpoint and and how to get our um, our coordinates and stuff so on to our next video my level seven pioneers